Tom Drinkwater from Oakland Axe Factory, and this is my latest creation, the FS8 8-string. Um, it is based on a uh, SG body style, but a little more offset, more reminiscent of an ESP Viper, you know, plus this handy little cutout, which goes right on your leg. Um, got EMG humbuckers, EMG 808s, and they are run to a toggle. This is a kill switch and a, a pickup selector. So what you've got is in the center, nothing at all, just a kill switch. All the way forward, you get your neck. Off, all the way back, you get your bridge. Center, there's no volume or tone on this for, uh, for controls. It's just a straight ahead, you know, heavy metal guitar. 18 volt, dual battery box set up there, and it's run right to an output. Um, I used uh, Hipshot hardware, so I got the Hipshot 8 string bridge on this side, and I've got 8 Hipshot tuners on this side. They're all black with little gold uh, gears there. Maple neck, glued in, um, contoured heel, goes into this ash body, and it's offset. It's, a, it's very handy because it doesn't, it doesn't get in your way when you're up on the high frets. You know, 24 frets right here, and you see on this side, I'm not having to really reach over, you know, a Les Paul heel, for instance, comes out a lot, you know, it's very square, it's hard to get even a 22nd fret, so I made sure on this model that you can really get up there, very important for, for soloing and whatnot. Um, it's pretty light, it's about like a Strat, you know, maybe even a little lighter. It's uh, black paint with uh, satin lacquer finish, so it's very hard finish, very durable. Um, Let's hear it. I'm playing it through a uh, bass amplifier, and the most important thing is the tone of a guitar, no matter how good it looks, has to come through uh, loud and clear. So on 8-string, it's very difficult to get the low end, you know, to sound punchy. Uh, so what I did is I actually used bass strings. I got a .090 Ernie Ball bass string on this, and that's the same one that they would put on their Ernie Ball silhouette bass. It's tuned on F, which is a half step above a bass, low E, and I've got it run through this just a little cheap crate practice amp. I tried it out through my Line 6 Spider, you know, a little 15 watt job, and it just, it would not do justice to the low end whatsoever. It was killing it. The speakers were breaking up. Not pretty. So, this is the guitar in the uh, neck position. That's your F. It's tuned up exactly like a uh, typical 8-string guitar starting it. Normal A string guitar goes, you know, F sharp, B, then standard six string tuning. This is just down a half step from that. So it's down to F, B flat, and then you know E A D G B E half step down. And that was uh, that was your F, B flat. That's your neck. Go back to your bridge. sounds very much like any other guitar with EMG pickups, you know, it's got a lot of clarity, a lot of headroom. Um, it sounds, you know, just like a guitar, even though it's eight strings, you can still play everything you know on your six string, or seven string for that matter, and it's just got the, the you know, the super low F just for added utility, I and mean, you can really get into this thing. Um, let's go. Up on this end, I utilize a, uh, zero fret rather than a standard nut. And the reason that is, it's, uh, I kind of stole the idea from uh, Mobius Megatar and Joe Viet. Um, it allows you to change string gauges without having to rebuild your nut or cut a new nut for that matter. Because uh, the strings literally just go right across the top of that fret and uh, it goes in through a little string spacer then into the solid brass string retainer. The string retainer, I make it a solid brass. It's very heavy. It's it's adds a lot of mass to the headstock, and it really helps your tone and sustain. So that's the reason that great big brass piece is up on there. And uh, here's some just guitar chords. And it's got excellent articulation to the notes, excellent note definition, and that's it. The FS8 from Oakland Axe Factory. Uh, check us out online at www.oaklandaxefactory.com. Thanks.